I'm just, I've uh, the way it works is a little bit different than what you might be expecting, so I want to include this tutorial so that way people aren't like like freaked out by how to use this because it is a little bit different. So just thought we can preview this. I'm not actually going to show you how this is made. I will, I will, however, show you how to use it. So when you start this, you will get a black screen. I suggest before you actually present it that you just run through the first animation because that that uh, the logo uh, flipping across the screen can be a little bit laggy the very first time you start the presentation. So I would just try it once, then go back and try it again. So the first thing that will happen is you'll see that that logo will fly across. Please don't be too mad that the uh, yeah, that the music plays. Please don't be too mad at my uh, laggy screen because this, this screen recording software can be laggy, as you know from watching my other videos. So yeah, the logo comes up, and you can see the bottom says version 10 because, yes, this is version 10. You can go back and watch versions 1 through 9 uh, back in my channel. Okay, so, get next, that disappears, then you're, then you're brought here. There are simple uh, instructions on the side, well not really instructions, but information. Um, in this game there are only 12 questions to the million. And this is like a sort of a hybrid version where um, there is two rounds, however, um, however the, uh, no, never mind, that's, I did not mean that at all. I'll, I'll explain it to you as we keep going. So you're brought to this, then you hit next again, and you're given the round one money tree. Um, I modified it slightly for this purpose. I, got, I uh, simply just got rid of the $100 and $500 questions because you don't really need those. So now, so now it says we're going to randomize the amount of money. And you, hit na and you hit the next button, and it does the animation. It is does not actually randomize it. All it does is put the money, the dollar symbols in front of the uh, in front of the money behind it um, in a pre-specified order. But you, but on each question, you can decide how much each question is worth. So, and just and I and I do have a double money question. Um, and by default is question three. As you can see, and then it brings you to the Let's Play Millionaire sequence. And then when you hit next again on the, uh, on the transition, you will hear the light. You'll hear uh, the first sound. There it is. Boom. And then the first question appears. I have not actually filled out the questions. I just, I just, I have just left them in question like question one, question two, question three, and like that. And when um. So, what what you do is make sure you have your mouse enabled because you will need it. Um, to to lock in your answer, you simply click on the answer. So click click on an answer. So I'm gonna click on A, and that specifies that it's locked in. Then to find out if you were right or wrong, you click it again, like so. So in this case, I was wrong. The answer was B. Tough luck. After this happens. If you answer wrong, you just hit next, and if you if you just hit next a few times until it brings you to the next slide, and then question two appears. So in this case, I'm going to answer B. Let's see if it's right. No, it was not. It was A. I'm having bad luck today. I will get one of these right. I'm probably, I promise you. So I'll hit next a few times, and as you can see up here, it is the double money question. So let's hope I get it right. I believe the answer here is C. Ugh, it was not. Oh my god. I am like really bad. Okay. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to replay the question. I'm just going to I'm just going to replay the question that way you can see what it, what happens when you get it right. So, I'm going to answer A. And you can see that you can see that it turns green and the um you can see that dollar amount hexagon appears 
In this case, there's two because it's a double money question. So, for example, if you if this is question was valued at like normally valued at twenty five thousand um, dollars, you would put you would write twenty five thousand each of those regular dollar amount hexagons and and put the total the double dollar amount. So it'd be in this case it'd be fifty thousand if it were twenty five thousand. And I'd left and I'd left it up to you what you want to put behind each question, and then you just hit next a few times, and that brings you here. Here you would fill in um, the amounts already been used, and um, and this part over here, just delete that when you're once you've done it, because you know it looks kind of stupid once you've gone through all the trouble to fill it in, then you still have that tutorial instruction there. But I don't know. Okay, so question number four, obviously. D final answer. I was wrong. So I'm gonna exit out of that, and I'm actually gonna show you where how you would fill in all the questions and all that. And all that. So for, on this slide, if you wanted to put in categories for the questions, go right ahead. It's I'm not saying that you should. I'm not saying you shouldn't. Just if you want, it's up to you. If you do want, if you do want to, you just type it in like so. So. Right now there are spaces there, so you just type in like that. So I see. So as you can see, hopefully try just try to keep out. Try a tip, just try to keep it on one line. Otherwise, it looks pretty bad. So, but for the questions, actual questions, as you can see, there's a dollar amount hexagon here. The question, and then the four possible answers. If when I here, I'll start with question. Question one. Let's just start with that. Question one. So as you can see, the ant it's indicating that the correct answer would be B. So you would fill in your question here. Let's see, I'll type in here is my question. And B here would be, I'll say, answer is cheese. When you display the question, you can see here's my question. Pardon me. Here's my question. And then the four possible answers. If you pick, if you click on cheese, you get it right, and the dollar amount hexagon appears. And that's really all it is. However, once you get into round two, I do want to show you what happens. So, once you answer all the questions, of course, again, you would want to fill this part in with the uh, used dollar amounts. And if you have answered every question correctly, which hopefully you have. And this can be this can be used in all different uh, scenarios. Uh, your bank would be sixty-eight thousand um, dollars. Again, you would delete this these little instructions here. So then, when you hit the next, the uh, round one money tree disappears, and the round two one appears. So there are four questions in round two. I have not included a, a a wrong answer. Like you walk away with like one thousand if you if you get it wrong or something like that. Um, what I intended, this is just my initial release, so I may add things in the future. Uh, my yeah, my intention was that you would just go all, go through all the questions, and you know get a pat in the back if you get it right. Oh well, if you get it wrong, no harm no foul. So you can see that you're we're gonna go for a hundred thousand. So yeah, here's the question. Um, I'm gonna guess A. Oh, I was wrong. So then you hit next a few times, and notice I put if because not, you're not necessarily gonna get it right. So um, yeah, that's really all it is. Um, I hope yeah, you guys find this informative and. Um, I will include the download link for this in the description. Um, so, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for your support. See ya.